The father of a baby girl born after a deadly Collin County crash is making progress with his effort to become the child's legal guardian. Heather Trimble was eight months pregnant when she became a victim of that June 6 crash that killed four other people near the town of Westminster. She gave birth to a baby girl shortly after she died in the hospital. Now the man who says he's the child's biological father is home with the baby but still has legal hurdles to clear. Fox 4's Natalie Solis is here with their story. Well, Clarice, I spoke to that man, James Gardner, late this afternoon, and he says it feels amazing to finally be leaving the hospital with his little girl. And he's feeling a lot more confident about their future together. The baby girl at the center of it all, driven home from the hospital Wednesday, known simply as November BG on her birth certificate. She's doing great, and um, she's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. Uh, Sorry, I gotta take a deep breath. That was James Gardner Tuesday evening, a proud dad gutted by loss. He plans to call his daughter Hadley, the name his fiance Heather Trimble picked out before she died from her injuries. A devastating situation, complicated because Trimble was still legally married to a man she left three years ago. I really don't think it could get any worse. Like really, the. Uh, the amount of uh, wrong turns this thing is taking is just, it's really mind boggling to, to think that anyone would have to deal with this on top of, of the original crash. Hunter Lewis is a family law attorney not involved in this case who helps explain why the marriage complicates the paternity issue. Because she was married to him at the time of the birth of the child, the actual father, legally speaking, is what's known as a presumed father which is her husband. He says while the husband is known as the presumed father because of the marriage, Gardner is what's known as the alleged father. Lewis says Gardner can either file a lawsuit to determine parent-child relationship or... He could file a document which allows for him to be acknowledging that he is dad and the presumed father has the ability to file what's called a denial of paternity, saying basically, I'm not the parent and I deny parentage. Gardner says Trimble's estranged husband is cooperative, granting him power of attorney, allowing for a DNA test, and Gardner to take the child home from the hospital. A new life, Gardner admits he was nervous about during Trimble's pregnancy. Now a single dad forging ahead, trying to work through his grief. But that is. One of my largest regrets for her is that she couldn't even see Hadley before she went. Well, Gardner says he's now got an attorney to help him work through the legal issues, and the estranged husband is willing to file all the necessary paperwork. There is an emergency hearing on Friday, and once parentage is resolved, he can then change the birth certificate to reflect Hadley, the name Heather would have wanted. Clarice? So glad the baby is home. Yeah. Natalie, thank you.